really hazy and smoky day here in Vermont today because of wildfires. Not anywhere around here though, but way out in the western United States. Two and a half to three thousand miles away. That's pretty wild that we're getting this much smoke and haze from wildfires that far away. St. Johnsbury, Vermont, the main town, or I guess I could say maybe not the main town, but the largest town in the Northeast Kingdom of Vermont. Pretty quiet overall, even today on this uh, sort of humid summer afternoon. In general, it is a pretty quiet town, even though it is the largest town in the Northeast Kingdom of Vermont. This is a pretty rural part of, the, of what is already mostly a, mostly a rural state. St. Johnsbury here in the center has some cool architecture, free public library, St. Johnsbury Academy, the high school that actually one former U.S. president, President Coolidge, was actually an alumni of. So, you know, some interesting history here. I actually lived in the periphery of this town for most of the four and a half years that I lived up here and went to college at Linden State College, which is now called Northern Vermont University, which we will we'll stop by and take a look at what that looks like now. I'm sure it hasn't changed much. There's some new businesses I'm noticing along the main strip here, which is nice to see, I guess. I mean, it looks a little more revived in some parts. Other parts, not as much. I mean, there's this building here, which used to be public housing, and now it looks like it's empty. And I don't know if, I don't know if it's abandoned now or being renovated, or but it certainly doesn't look like anyone's living there. And just down the street from here was a McDonald's that I worked at for a little while here, and that's completely gone now. If you're visiting the Northeast Kingdom of Vermont, it's a really good place to come for, depending on the season, um, hiking, camping, recre you know, outdoor recreation, uh, skiing, of course, and snowboarding is big in the wintertime because there's mountains and there's a whole lot of snow here in the, in the wintertime for a long time. I mean, there's snow in the, a lot of times in the fall and in the spring too, and in the, in the mountains. And so um, those are the kind of things a lot of people come up here for. A lot of really cool houses around here. I mean, Linden, Lindenville, like a lot of old New England towns, has just some really cool architecture on some of these old houses. That back there was actually the first apartment that I ever got completely on my own. I was 18 at the end of my freshman year of college. I was looking to move the hell off campus. That didn't work out so well, and I ended up getting a cheaper place 
that was just a room and a house with a few other people that I knew um, down in the next town over in St. Johnsbury. But for a couple of months, this was my apartment. And I had some friends who years down the line, towards the end of my time here, I had another apartment in that same building there. And there used to be a, there used to be a bar in the basement level of those, uh, of that building there. And not sure what happened to it. I guess it closed because maybe they were a little too cheap with the drinks, but uh, it's kind of crazy seeing this place now. And I mean, now that people I knew here are no longer here, but it was kind of cool to see, kind it's kind of cool to revisit old stomping grounds and see what it looks like after so long. Well, there's the Moonlight Inn, which is the first place I ever stayed when I came here to Lindenville just before I started becoming a student here at Linden State College. So even though the sign's still up there, it's it's not operating anymore as a business. I think the, the couple that owns it probably has moved on. Uh, and so it's kind of cool to see that the house is still there though. It's a really cool house. That is the puking pig. That is uh, another one of those quirky little little Lindenville, Vermont things. Everybody knows about the puking pig because that has a funny name and it's puking water out of its mouth. Going up the hill just west of the town of Lindenville to go see Linden State College, now known as Northern Vermont University, Linden. Northern Vermont University, which was known as Linden State College back when I was here, but this is my alma mater. I did my undergraduate here 2006 to 2010 when it was Linden State College. So even though it's the middle of summer and there's like nobody here, uh, it's, it is kind of nice to kind of revisit and see what it looks like now. <laughs> this little connector through here was much appreciated during the long snowy winters. So this was what we, this is what we call the squiggle, the coverage area for LSC TV News 7. What LSC TV News 7 is, is a local news program that the students that are in the broadcast news program, or, or I guess what they call now electronic journalism arts here at, at uh, Northern Vermont University, uh, cover this area for local news. I did it myself when I was here. I was in L I was part of LSC TV in 2009 and 2010 anchoring producing Reporting out in the field all of that stuff because that's what you learn how to do and you do it for real in this program here Since uh, we're in a, in a rural enough area that we kind of have our own little coverage area here that doesn't really otherwise get um, a lot of local news coverage This area here all used to be a pond, and it was a pond that had a fountain in the middle that they would leave on in the wintertime, and then it would it would freeze over into this ice tower that went like up to, up to like here. And so, some some winters it was higher than others, I guess depending on how cold it was. Um, there was an ice tower that used to form on it right here, and we used to jokingly call it the ice penis. Uh, I'm not sure if the reason they got rid of the pond and stopped that was because of all the ice penis jokes, but it's it's kind of funny seeing there not being a pond here now because back in the days when I was here, there was a pond here and it used to freeze in the winter and there were just a whole bunch of jokes you could imagine with a bunch of college students around about the ice penis. I always really loved how this campus was laid out. Uh, I love the fact that it sort of maximizes the outdoor space that it's on here. The fact that you can see the mountains across to the east from here on the, the hills that are here to the west of Lindenville. It's really got a beautiful landscape up here and the college itself is small. There's not too many programs here. The programs that do exist here though are pretty good and, and I hope that the financial troubles that all of the Vermont State Colleges have had, I hope that they um, never get to the point that this college shuts down. Um, or becomes no longer because for me this place was really special and it would be a shame to see it go so I really hope that um, 
the Vermont State College system, but especially here, Linden State College, Northern Vermont University, Linden now, uh, I hope that it continues to still exist. It may be a small and not very well known and not super highly prestigious Harvard freaking kind of place, but there's a lot of good programs here and I, I would hope that Vermont would make it more accessible to their own in-state residents, of course, but also fund higher education better so that places like this are not lost for future generations. This is Dr. Jay Schaefer, who is a uh, professor in the meteorology department. Hey, how's it going everyone? <laughs> and it's good to see Nick here. I love uh, showing off the place and we're glad we could bring a little bit of Vermont to you and, and uh, bring back some memories, I hope, that are good. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, I was just saying before that uh, I have a lot of memories here. Most of them are good though. I mean, I, you, know, so, you know, obviously if you live somewhere for almost half a decade, you, you accumulate some bad ones too, but mostly good though. <laughs> and you know, it, it, the, the ironic thing is uh, the first professor I actually met was Dr. J here because when I first came here, I was looking to go into the meteorology program and then I switched into TV news, which is the other like really big program they have here. So when I was for my like sort of advisement visit, um, he was the professor that, you know, I got to meet and got to talk a little bit more about the college with. Your journey started, Vermont started with us. Yes. <laughs> we've come full circle today and it's, it's nice to, to see you. You're putting up a new, like, can we see this here that, oh, that sure. you're putting up? Yeah, yeah. Just uh, putting up a weather station. Mm. It's in a holding ground, actually. We're, we're relocating it from another location, but this is just a good place for it on the weather deck for now. One yeah, I mean, our... this deck here was built like mainly for because the the this is where the um, the meteorology department is in this part of the campus. So so this deck right here, and then there's the um, the the exist the, the pre-existing weather station, I guess, one that was already here, right? Yeah, um, yeah we've back got there. about ten portable weather stations, and this is one of them. Okay. So, yeah, we just put them around uh, around the area and also use them for classes. And this weather deck, as you can tell, is just a great place to look at the sky and enjoy the weather. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. we see like there's a little rain shower coming in right now. You can just watch it come in from, from that side and then, um, yeah, I mean, this, this deck is, is pretty big and has lots of big views, so really great for that. But I'm just, I'm, I'm so happy that I got to see uh, someone who I knew when I was up here because I didn't think I would. You know, like I said, over, I went over a decade goes by, you know, people move on, but it, it's nice to see <laughs> someone that's still here that I was, uh, that was here when I was here. So one more place I wanted to take you guys while we're up here in the Northeast Kingdom of Vermont is Lake Willoughby, which is this really cool lake in between two mountains. It's kind of wedged in between two mountains. It almost looks like a, almost looks like a fjord. But the rain has started again. And the closer I get to the lake up here, which is about a half hour north of Lindenville, the rainier it gets. This is Lake Willoughby. Had to come up here and show this unique lake because this is a really unique sort of northeast kingdom of Vermont thing here in between these two mountains here, Mount Pisgah and Mount Hoare. And the north side of Lake Willoughby. And since we're not wedged in between those two mountains over there, it's a lot calmer on this side. Just had to show just how crazy some of the microclimates are around here with the mountains. But definitely uh, it's an area I think is very underrated and I feel very lucky to have gotten to know the area when I lived up around here. So if you wanna come and see Vermont and see a part that's a little bit lesser known, definitely do the Northeast Kingdom. So that is all from here in the Northeast Kingdom of Vermont. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Global Nico so that I can share some more awesome places that I travel to with you guys. And until the next video, take care.